Hey, hey everyone. Um, good afternoon or good morning or good night, depending on where you guys are in the world or if you're watching this live or wind up um, watching a rerun of this. I just, I was gonna write a post kind of welcoming all the new people and everyone uh, to the Facebook group. And I thought maybe I would try this. This is my first time doing Facebook Live, so if I mess up or this is not the greatest, let me know. Um, but I thought maybe this would be uh, kind of a fun way of communicating. So I just wanted to give you guys a, a face behind um, Meadow Mist Designs. And my name is Cheryl Bricky. I am coming to you from Greenville, South Carolina. I was born and raised in New Jersey. And after a uh, five years up in Rochester, New York, some time in Pittsburgh, we landed uh, down in South Carolina. So um, I have a 13 year old son, a 10 year old daughter, and um, so middle schooler and an elementary schooler. I work for a private textile and chemical company by day. I am a chemical engineer and now I write patent applications. Um, and most of my patent applications are around textiles, technical textiles, ones that go into roofing and tires and, and all sorts of things. So I like to joke with people that even when I am not in my sewing room, slicing and dicing fabric, I am still writing about it. Um, and I say you haven't really lived until you actually have to write how a knit works and how everything actually goes in, in words. You just, you haven't lived. Or maybe you can skip that, but I find that it's kind of, it's kind of fun. So, um, yes, yeah, so that is me. I've been in South Carolina now for almost 15 years. And I started Meadow Mist Designs back when my daughter was a toddler. Um, when I got into quilting, I had always kind of been handy and, and crafty. Um, but I never really, I, I don't have any sewers or any quilters in my family. My mother did have to sew her own clothes growing up because it was cheaper. So, um, she never really understood why, you know, why would someone sew for fun? Because she had to do it. And, uh, I tried my hand at cake decorating, which was fun, but way too much cleanup, way too much of that grease. And, uh, when my daughter was going from a crib to a toddler bed, I decided I was going to make her a quilt. Um, my husband was nice enough. We went to Joann's, the only place I really knew to buy stuff. I uh, bought a cutting mat, a rotary cutter, a basic, some basic supplies, some fabric, and I was off. Uh, my first quilt pattern was a jelly roll pattern, but I didn't really know what a jelly roll was. So I wound up buying all sorts of different things. Um, uh, some fat quarters, some yardage, and, uh, and then I decided I wanted to make it a different size, then I wanted something else on the back. And it wound up, I re kind of rewrote the pattern, and I found that I loved it. Um, so from that point, I very quickly went into writing my own patterns, designing my own quilts, and from my technical engineering background, I have the math from the patent writing, I have my technical writing, and I try to put those two together and I try to create pattern designs that are fun, uh, very simple to you, easy to understand. Um, and so hopefully um, you guys have tried a couple of them, the mystery quilts, if you like the mystery quilts, maybe you'd like my other, my other patterns. And uh, so that's, that's how it is. I just finished writing my second book. My first book is Modern Plus Sign Quilts. It was published by Stash. Now I'm gonna get this wrong. It was January of 2018. I think it came out. Yes. Um, so I just submitted it. I submitted all the quilts. Uh, so my next book will be out in the end, like late spring 2021. So late spring next year, depending on this whole fun COVID stuff. So. That is me. Um, that is kind of just a few seconds about my quilting journey. Uh, if you guys have any questions, you can leave them. And I just wanted to welcome you all to the Morewood Mystery. Um, we actually have had about 1800 people join in the last two weeks. So welcome to you all. I hope that you decide to join in. I hope that you enjoy it. And now, especially during the pandemic, when a lot of guilds and bees aren't meeting, 
I hope that we can be kind of a substitute and we can quilt together and be a community sharing, um, making friends and uh, making connections because I know that stuck in the house all day, I, I really look for those connections. So I hope that this can, uh, can be this for you. So a little bit about the Morewood Mystery, it is completely free. It is very low stress, um, very, a very easy kind of schedule. The instructions come out the first Thursday of every month. So it, you know, it varies whether it's the first or the sixth, it's the first Thursday of every month. And so this Thursday in just a couple days will be the official kickoff and we'll have all the fabric requirements. Now, some of the kits have been available. So some people have gleaned, you know, how many fabrics and how much, but the official fabrics are gonna be posted on Thursday, Thursday morning. I think I have the post scheduled to go at about 12.30 Eastern Standard Time. Um, and then it's, it's a bonanza and I'd love to see everyone posting all of their different fabric options and really getting into it and, and sharing. There are kits available, they are available now. I will be, when I post on Thursday, I will have all the lists again. Um, they're from the Bear Creek Quilting Company, Bernina We're in Stitches, and Needle and Foot. And so all of them have them. They're more modern, they're more traditional. Um, the Bernina shop even has some holiday versions. So there's kind of something for everyone if you're not comfortable picking out your own fabric, if you don't have enough. Um, but the, you, you should be able to also pull from your stash um, and what have you. And if um, you can leave a comment, if you like this format, this live, I was thinking about doing another one Friday morning where I can talk about the fabric requirements and some different options and kind of just, you know, pull some different fabrics and talk about what combos would work or not without giving anything away in the mystery. So if you think that that'd be a very cool thing, leave a comment wherever, um, if you're rewatching this, if you think that'd be helpful, um, I will try to do one. Um, there is an unmystery quilt option. Uh, I will tell you that I am an engineer and I personally could never do a mystery quilt. Uh, so I, I just, I'm one of those people that I'm rendering it in EQ before I even cut a first piece of fabric, I usually know how the finished quilt is going to look. That is just, that's just my personality and there is nothing wrong with that. Um, so if you want, um, if you want a sneak peek, there is no shame. Uh, you can go and there's, there is a sign up if you go to the website. Um, but it's, there's a link in the Facebook group. There is a click, you click, you sign up. Those that only will be used for a sneak peek. So you'll get one thing. Here's the sneak peek. The instructions are all going to be posted on the blog. They're, that won't be used for anything else. I don't sell your, your name. And in fact, right after I send it out, I will be kind of getting rid of the whole thing. So I will be deleting everyone's addresses. So you don't have to worry about that. So that's a little bit about the mystery quilt. If anyone has any other questions, um, let me know. But we are, it is, the, the quilt is a, I'll tell you a little bit more. It will be a little sneak peek. It's a what is it? 60 by 72. So it's a very nice size lap quilt. It, um, it is block based. I think it looks really, um, I'm really, this is one of my favorite designs I've ever done. So, and I really think that it looks good. I mean, you could use Civil War prints. You can make a Halloween quilt. You can make it very modern. Uh, one of the Bear Creek quilt kits is all blacks and whites and that I think would look really cool too. So I think it's a really versatile pattern that looks good in all sorts of fabrics. So I'm hoping everyone who does take part and uses their own fabrics, it does it as a mystery, will be happy with it at the end. Um, if there anything else, it is at a beginner-ish level. Um, there's nothing crazy. There's no paper piecing. There is no applique. There's no Y seams or anything horrible. There's just, I'm trying to remember what this one, but just typically my mystery quilts, you have your half square triangles, your flying geese, your, your basic blocks. Um, and so that, that you, you know, you shouldn't have any problems. And if you do, we now have like 6,500 people in this group. You can email me directly or you can post to the group and they can all help you. Um, oh yeah. So talking about contacting me. I do have, I love you guys. I love the Facebook group. Um, nowadays with so many different 
ways of communicating of messenger and instagram and then leaving comments in facebook and email um it does get overwhelming sometimes and i don't want to miss any of your comments or any of your questions so if you leave a comment 15 comments down on one of the posts i may or may not see it i really try to go back but i, I mean with all the posts it, i don't want to miss anything so if you ever do need to reach me the best way is email and you can use MMD Mystery Quilts, that's plural, at gmail.com. So that's MMD for Meadow Mist Design, Mystery Quilts at gmail.com. And that way I will make sure that I do not, I do not miss it. Um, you could also leave a comment on one of the blog posts because those all come to my, come to my email. Um, but if you do go and post something on Facebook and you don't hear from me, um, I apologize and please try to reach a different way. Um, so that way I can make sure that I, I get back to you. So I think that that's everything. If anyone else, I'm looking at the comments, I don't really see anything. So if you're, re you know, you're watching this and you have a comment or you have a question about it, leave it. And um, I'm seeing some comments saying that yes, fabric pulls would be cool. Seeing things on Friday would be very good. So I will try on Friday morning. So all of the fabric requirements will come out on Thursday. Um, I work on Thursday though. So Friday morning-ish Eastern Standard Time, I will come on live and um, I will answer all your questions. So I guess I'll put up a Facebook, I'll put up a thing of, you can ask some, some questions once you see the Facebook, uh, the, the fabric requirements, excuse me. Then I can, I can answer all of your questions. So say hi to all of you. Thank you, Leslie and Sarah and Christy and Tamara for joining. Um, I think that is all I have. This was my first Facebook Live, so hopefully I did not do too bad. It's kind of weird talking to yourself and seeing yourself, but um, I hope that you found this is helpful. Seeing who is behind the blog, um, just to give you a little face of, of me. And so thank you guys so much, and you should hear from me on Thursday and anyone who signed up for the sneak peek. I think I have that scheduled to mail out I want to say I have it scheduled for about 7.30 in the morning Eastern Standard Time. So if anyway, if you did sign up for the, the sneak peek and you don't get it in the morning, my time morning, you know, send me an email, mmdmysteryquilts at gmail.com and I will fix it. You have any questions, um, but I am so excited to be sewing along with you guys, create a community with you, and I think we're going to have a lot of fun. So I'm looking forward to Thursday. I hope you guys are too. And I will see you guys later.